Good afternoon, folks. Let's move on to uh, category three in our N5 calculations videos. This shouldn't take long, this one. Percentage mass. If I wanted to know uh, what percentage of a given class, for example, were wearing, I don't know, say, brown shoes, uh, what would I do? I would count the number of people with a brown shoes. Then I would divide by the total number of people in the class, including the people with the brown shoes. And then I would multiply by 100. And that would turn the number of people with brown shoes into a percentage with brown shoes. And it's not a million miles away from that procedure here for an actual calculation. Here's one here. This one is a three marker, um, which looks quite scary, but it's really, really not. It's actually a doddle. So we want to know the percentage of iron in iron pyrite. And it says iron pyrite FES2. It's an impurity that you find in coal. So we want the percentage of iron. Now, I did say that what we would do is the total number of people with brown shoes. So what we need to do is look at the total number of moles of iron. Um, and please remember, in chemistry, we tend to be lazy. So this is Fe1S2. There is only one iron here. So what I need to do is I need to work out the mass of iron total mass of iron divided by the total mass of this whole compound, otherwise known as the GFM, of course. For which we need the world's least readable page from the data book, which I've got here. We need to know iron and we need to know sulphur. The order is alphabetical. So iron is here at 56 and sulphur is here at 32. Please excuse me if I write sulphur with a PH. It's because I'm very old and I think that's how it should be spelled. But that's just me. Um, so what we got here, guys, we've got the total mass of iron. So in this case, there's 1 times 56. That's going to be our top line. If it had been, say, Fe3S2, of course, you would have done 3 times 56. There is that little detail to watch for. Um, divided by the total of the whole compound, which is going to be 1 times 56, plus 2 lots of sulphur, which was 32, if you were paying attention, short-term memory test. Um, so let's heave out the vintage calculator, see what we get here. So that's going to be 56 on the top line, divided by uh, 56 plus 64, if my mental arithmetic is correct. So uh, 64 plus 56, I should really do that in my head. 120. 56 over 120 times 100, that will turn it into a percentage. Let's have a look. 56 over 120 times 100. I did say before that uh, two so two significant figures are good enough. It's Sorry, my, my sausage fingers on the calculator are playing up here. 56 over 120 times 100 uh, it gives us 47%. No units needed here. It's a percentage. And we're done. I told you they'd be nice and quick today. So that's percentage uh, mass, folks. You take the total percentage of the element you're interested in and divide it by the complete mass of the formula, otherwise known as the GFM. Just watch for the fact you might have more than one atom. I've seen a classic one for this. Is Let me show you what a classic one for this is. The percentage of nitrogen in ammonium nitrate. They may or may not give you the formula for that. If they don't give the formula, it would probably be a three-mark question because go back and look at my video on how to construct formula. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo below the video here. Um, and ammonium is a complex ion, and so is nitrate a complex ion. So ammonium is NH4 with a valency of 1, and nitrate is NO3 with a valency of 1. So that is the formula for ammonium nitrate. And because they're looking for a percentage of nitrogen here, check this out, look, there's two separate nitrogens there. So it would be easy to miss that. You would actually need two lots of F14 divided by whatever the heck the total GFM that comes to. So you'd have um, 14 plus 4 times 1 plus another 14 plus 3 lots of oxygen. That's 3 times 16. I'm so desperately sad. I don't need to go and look up any of these. Uh, so I need to go and get a life and you need to go and watch the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.